Grandma, Ekulema. I'm a cabo. <laughs> a cabo, my daughter. Thank you, ma. It's a good day. Good day, ke. Grandma. Mm. I went to work last night, hoping to get someone to take over my shift. But there was nobody to take over my shift, so my manager asked me to stay over and work. So I did a, a double shift with Grandma. <laughs> my daughter, hmm. God will help us all. Us? My son and uh, and his wife S since yesterday they couldn't come back. Ekulema, Grandma, is Daddy back from work yet? Work? But you know, they've left since yesterday. They haven't come back since yesterday. My children, they haven't come back. Hmm? Yes. Ah. That's what we are seeing you, my daughter. You see now, my children, you see my children are asking up for their daddy since uh, yesterday. The war for 16 hours. We are facing. This is what we are facing in this country, Mama. Mm. <laughs> mm. But I pray God will help us. You know, the whole hours we work, before the money, even, before you get the paycheck, the tax is already taken out of it. Hmm. And the little one remaining, bills are piled up waiting to collect the remaining, the rest of the money. Hmm. And our people back in Africa don't even understand what we are facing here. 
Really? They keep calling for money. Yes. Hmm. And if you even try to give them, they will claim it's too small. Hmm. In fact, my daughter and the <laughs> it's just overwhelming. The Yoruba adage that says Piodeba Woishe Totu Wea Boba Bayon Nibo Konifeniko Koje Eriso. So that adage. I think is indirectly referring to the people in diaspora, Mama. Mm. Well, my daughter. Mama, <laughs> in that country, <laughs> in that country where you send money to your relative or your friends mm. and for them to use it to do something for you they end up using it for their own personal needs mm. and if you mistakenly ask for your money for ask for it back if you dare ask for the money they will insult and abuse you mama mm. oh. really mm. say uh, in my first, my, my daughter, our country will change by God's grace. It is not, it is not going to continue like that, in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. Amen, Mama. Mm -hmm. Amen. Thank you. I hope so. <sighs> Mama, God will help us all. Amen and amen, in Jesus' name. Mama? Yes. Hmm? I just want to let you know that I will be traveling to Nigeria next week. Okay. My son will be going for his immigration interview mm -hmm. at the American Embassy in Lagos mm -hmm. in two weeks' time. And if he's lucky, they grant him the interview, they grant him visa, we might probably be coming together here by next month, hopefully. Mm -hmm. So I just say, let me let you know. Okay. Do it. Yes, Lore, a bore. Okay, you new woman, you look at Jason. Amen, Mama. Thank you, Mama. You're welcome. Thank you, Mama. Mama, thank you. Okay, thank you, my children. My dear, my daughter. Thank you, Daddy. My son wants to talk to me. Thank you, Mama. Thank you. See you again. All right, Lore. Thank you, Mama. Hey, Lord, mommy, hey, boy. Amen, and Mama. You Go and come and your give call. me good news that Amen. your son has been given visa. Amen.
passé la big boat Get what is the gun sales also here in America no guns so that's all you could see mom what's happening why are you not happy Mom, it shows on your face that you are not happy. Look at you, you are sad. You have been trying to bring me down to this country for years, Mom. Do you remember? But it seems that you are not still happy that I'm here. Your face is a reflection of it, Mom. It's not like that. It's nothing. In fact, I am happy that you're here. Are you sure? Of course. Okay, if you say so, Mom. Wow. Uh -uh. No, tell me something. Tell me it's not true. Uh -uh. Sure? It's okay. How far? Man, it's been a while, dude. Wow, 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 wow. I'm so happy to hear your voice. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. It's okay. What's going on, brother? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> tell them I miss them too. Tell them I miss them. I really do, man. I really do. Man, it's been a while. Huh? <laughs> I should send you guys some money. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, bro, you should know that. <laughs> man, I'm still under my mom's roof. Oh. Yeah, trust me. Trust me. Trust me, man. Once I start working, come on now, you know now, you know how we roll now. When I start working, bro, trust me, trust me. <laughs> of course, I'll send you guys money when I start working. Oh, man, 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 Yankee tough, oh. <laughs> Yankee. Yankee tough, oh. How about Nijana? Ah, same issue, right? Same shit going on over there. Wait, wait, that was nice, brother, man. I'm so happy to hear your voice, man. <laughs> Wow, after so long. Wait, wait, wait. This one? This one, this one, this one. Oh! <laughs> you mean that same this one? Is it yours? 
You run you. Are you for real? Whoa, 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 whoa. So what state is it now? What state? What state? Houston? You mean Houston, Texas? Wow, 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 wow. Wait, are you for real? He's a big boy now. Wow, 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 wow. Oh, you mean he's coming to my state? Wow, 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 man. I can't wait to see him. I can't wait to see him. Yeah, just give me my number. You know, I don't have a mobile phone now. So, I can only pick up. Just let him know. I can only pick up when I'm at home. Or oh, anytime he called me, and when, even if I'm not home, when I get back home. Yeah, I'll surely return his call, man. <laughs> I can't wait to see him. This one, big boy. Hey. Man, I'm so. <laughs> Okay, alright, bro. Man, I'm so happy to hear from you, bro. I'm so happy, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, just call me anytime. Don't worry. I got you guys, man. When I start walking, man, you know, this dollar, we're gonna make it a lot. Don't worry, don't worry. Okay, bro. Yeah, let me let allow you to rest now. Yeah, yeah. Talk to you another time, okay? Yeah, bye bye. <laughs> oh, man, this moon. Boy, man.
Yes, my dear. I like this mall. They really have a lot of cool stuff. I mean, very cool stuff, man. They really do. And not only that, mm. that is how they have it in all the strategic positions in this metropolis and other states. Really? And that's not the only shopping mall you can think of. Wow. You know, sometimes when I see all this, it just kind of breaks my heart. Mm. I just wish our leaders back home can use our stolen funds to do something like that or even better. At least, if they do, our young ones will have a place to work and they will turn away from cultism, you know? And all these evil groups that you see them joining in on the street. But no, our leaders will rather keep the young ones out of work so they can use them for their dirty ambitions. I mean, their dirty, evil political ambitions. But no, what they do is they rather take those dirty money and take them abroad, buy big mansions, and still pay huge taxes on those houses on a yearly basis. And these taxes are not just like a thousand dollars some range it depends on the location some of them pay as much as ten thousand dollars per annum on one house wow you can just imagine what that could have done for our people back home and you know what the yorubas call such people <laughs> or my cotilator that's the prodigal son or let's say the wasteful son so I said that because how would you be taking the funds you're supposed to use to better the lives of people and you move it to already developed countries it's just to me it's just like they are being wasteful And what's that look on your face? Are you upset that I am exposing our leaders? Hmm. Mom, how many times will I tell you? Now you bring this topic up again. I already promised you that I will stop this bad behavior and I will live a better life in this country. But why do you keep bringing this topic up again? I bet you will. Oh. You, you, as it is now, you have no option than to obey the rules because it's not back home where you attend parties and get innocent people killed. You know, if you try much here, this country is a no-nonsense place. Whoever tries it here is thrown to jail immediately if found guilty and is convicted. There's no bargaining. I hope you realize that. So, I see no reason why you must not obey the rules. You don't have option. But mom, mom, I have said this multiple times. I didn't intentionally kill this guy. Mom, come on, I keep telling you this multiple times. It wasn't intentional. But mom, why you keep bringing this topic up again? I don't understand. Ah, Wait, 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 wait. Is that why you're now rolling your eyes at me? You're not screaming on top of your voice? Come to think of it. That wouldn't have happened if you had not involved yourself in courtism in the first place. I was here working two, three jobs just to try that I could give you the best I could that your father could not give you. So you could do what your father could not do for me. No, what did you do? All you did was use my hard and money to join court group. And at the end of the day, you ended up killing an innocent person. And I am here, walking to an L, nail. Depending on what the job demands at that moment. And I did all this just because of you. What do I get? All this. Ingratitude. 
mom, I'm sorry. But I've told you multiple times that each time you bring this topic up, it tears up my heart. <laughs> I'm sorry. Have you forgotten what the Bible said in Ephesians 6 verse 1? Father, do not provoke your children to anger, but bring them upright in the way of the Lord. I'm sorry, mom, but I don't just like any time you bring this topic up again. I'm so sorry. I am just glad that you said father. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you said father. I am not your father. But unfortunately, I am playing the role of a father and a mother in your life. Even some orphans, they act better than you do. Yes, they do. You know what? Car! No wonder the Yoruba people say. Mom, 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 Yoruba people say again. Every time, is it Yoruba people say again? What about the English people, mom? Ah. <laughs> the Yoruba people say. Nigbati ya bamba omorewi, omoti oniya ama kogmonibe. And come to think of it, where did you keep the Bible verse that says, "Children, obey your parents, for that is right." In the same Ephesians chapter six verse one, that you are quoting for me. Okay, mom. Once again, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for everything, mom. I'm just sorry, okay? Mom, can we start leaving now? day and I'm still talking and you're laughing so this is funny to you right no it will be funny why won't it be funny your mates are out there making money and you're here wasting away faith I have been in this country 15 solid years before going back to Nigeria to bring you over to this country not for once have I ever sat down to look at this nonsense or even watch it all you could do is sit down here waste your life this is all you could watch when there are other tv stations or channels you could watch either on the tv or internet that could add value to your life if it is movie look at the nigerian movie they just pro produced there are other shows you could watch that can change your life for good faith but more don't mommy me 
Do not mommy me faith. I am so disappointed at you. Maybe you have forgotten. Remember we agreed that you're going to do exactly anything I asked you to do. And go wherever I asked you to go, Faith. Remember? Yes, Mom. I remember to listen to your advices and agree to go by your directions and stop all these my bad boy behaviors when I was in Nigeria. I can see. I see. You are really improving. Come on, my friend. Will you change that channel or, or even turn off the TV and go get useful for yourself? I just hope I won't regret bringing you to this country. N -n 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 Nonsense! Idiot! Where's this remote stuff? Oh, welcome, Mom. Thank you, son. How was ah, work today? It was great. That was good. Are you eating? Uh -uh. Why? Because I'm. Why are you watching? Mom, I'm watching this pastor's preaching. You believe this preaching? This pastor is based in Houston, Texas. Really? Houston? Yes, Mom. Houston. Mom, how far is Houston, Texas from here? Wow. This preaching must have been so great to warrant this question from you, Faith. Mom, that word great is understatement. This pastor you're looking at is so gifted with words, Mom. Wow. <laughs> that is wonderful. Now I am happy and finally convinced that you are becoming a changed person that I have ever wanted you to be. <laughs> Mom! I'm your son, have you forgotten? Wow. Yeah. You should know, I will always engage my saving things that will make you a happy person. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> this is what I'm always wanted and wished for. This is what I've been praying for. Mom, let me tell you something again. If you see the way this pastor breaks down this common Bible paragraph, Ephesians 6 verse 1. Oh, children obey your... Yes! Children, obey your parents in the Lord for this is right. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. You just made me proud. Now I won't have to bother about my blood pressure anymore. Oh, I love you so much. I'm living with you, Mom. Mm. Yeah. So, Mom, just join me. Let's watch this program of together. Of course. Yeah. Of course. This pastor is really brilliant. Hmm. And he's so awesome. And he's busy in using Texas. Don't forget that one. I won't. Why? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're just. Oh, my. Now you're just making me love you the more. Huh. See, this is what I've been talking about. That's why I'm always telling you I'm a changed person. <laughs> you can see now, I'm watching this preaching. Mom, I'm not watching that TV show again. No. Good. Never. Good. Me, that TV show. So, how do you feel watching this now? Mom, I feel like the other spirit is beside me. <laughs> <laughs>
the carpet you even did my laundry and now you're doing the dishes wow may god bless you my son amen you will be great in life amen and god i pray that god will use you and give you great initiative to solve bigger problems affecting this world in jesus name amen why didn't you say the amen the moment you heard the prayer? Are you reluctant to say amen or something? No. Uh, the prayer just sounds so up. I'm praying for you so that you will be great like people like Big Gates, Steve Jobs, and Jeff Bezos. Amen. Now let me tell you something about these three people I just mentioned so that you will, not, you will know that the prayer I just made for you is not just a prayer it's a prayer from my heart come on my son okay. you will be great in life and I pray that God will give you the initiative to be able to solve bigger problems affecting this world. Amen, Lord. Do you know that was how Big Gates, Steve Jobs, and Jeff Bezos became wealthy people? What do you mean, Mo? <laughs> yes, let me tell you. All these people I just mentioned now. They were able to solve a particular problem and as a result became rich people by solving these problems. Let me make Steve Joe for example. I remember when I was in Nigeria. Then before I came, that was before I came to this country. Mom. What? Are you going to start this your uh, Nigeria story again? <laughs> No, not at all. I'm just trying to tell you uh, how these people became wealthy and what problems they were able to solve that made them so rich. Okay, mom. Just make it fast. What do you mean make it fast? Are you going somewhere? I want to ask you a question. Okay, I'll make it fast. As I was saying, then in one of the states in Nigeria, on those states to be precise. In those days, there was no, not even one single telephone service except in Nakura, the capital city of the state. They were called um, Nitel. Whenever I needed to call your father there, I had to travel to Akure from our hometown so I can call him. And that was before I came to this country. And as if that was not enough, I couldn't just wake up and go to Akure because I just wanted to call him. So what do you mean, Mom? I had to go at a particular time of the day or week. Hmm. And if unfortunately, I missed that time due to traffic or whatever, I would have to go home and reschedule to go another time. Wow. Mom, that's a waste of time and money. 
Exactly. That was what Steve Jobs saw. Mm. And he brought solution to it. And today, just see, almost every, every anybody you can think of now has a mobile phone. You can use it to call somebody, even if you are in the thickest forest. You can call somebody. And oh. you know then, your dad, if he was sleeping, I couldn't reach him. But now it's no longer like that. Because the mobile phone is always on him. Unlike before. Wow. That's true. And that was a big problem that was solved. Oh. Now you got my point. And that was exactly what Steve Jobs saw. And mm. he was able to proffer solution to it. Mm. You now see why I prayed that prayer for you? Don't take it for granted. That's true. So was Bill Gates. He invented Microsoft Windows. And today, almost every home you can think of in the world has computer. With the exception of Nigeria and most of the African countries. You know, our leaders... No, 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 no. See, don't let us start with this our leader story again. Oh. I said it that I have a question I need to ask you before. Oh yes, my dear. I remember. What is it? Yeah, mommy. You remember the last time I asked you I asked you about Houston, Texas and how far is it from here? Yes, I remember. Oh, what is it? Did the pastor call you? Is he coming over to see you? What is it? No, mom. The pastor did not call me. And no one called me. It's just that I have a friend over there and... And you're not going anywhere, Faith! Don't start. You barely know anywhere. You don't even know your street. You don't know your way around. You just came to this country, Faith. <laughs> mom. You need to calm down. I didn't say I'm going there. I'm not going there. So what is this about? Mm -hmm. You didn't even let me to talk before you started concluding. I have a friend that resides over there, like I said before, and is coming here to this our own town, yeah, for a friend's birthday party. And he asked me to come there. And this party we're talking about is by the Lafayette Square more year. <laughs> it's not even far from our own. There we go again, Faith. I knew it. I just knew it. I saw this coming. When I saw you doing all this holier than that attitude, doing everything. When was the last time you did all this? I knew you were up to something. So this is it. Another party? The same way you went to the party that you got that mom, person mom, killed. Mom, 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 mom. Mom, you have started again. How many times will I tell you this that I'm a changed person? What is it that you always like rubbing this past incident of me killing someone to my face every time you have that opportunity? Mom, is it because I just said I, uh, my friend is coming to a birthday party and invited me to come? Mom, I'm a changed person. Ah. I didn't mean, I didn't mean to say that, but, you know, maybe I should just give him a chance, like, maybe I should give him a chance to really prove himself. Oh God. Hello? Echo Leo? Faith? Where is this boy?
faith. I just hope this boy will not kill me. Faith. Welcome, Mom. Where are you coming from? Mom, I was born at home. So I just decided to take a walk in the neighborhood. You got me worried. Are you just coming in, Mom? Oh, yes. I'm oh. just coming in. I was work today. So oh, fine. But mom, where do you think I was coming from? Uh -uh, uh uh mom, please. I told you that I'm a cheap guy. You see? You see what? What decent person or a good Christian refers to himself as a guy? Mom, come on, come on. Oh. Here we go again. So it has now gotten to the point that you now roll your eyes at me? Okay, mom, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, mom. But please, mom, can you just stop rubbing this my past on my face because, you know, that, that doesn't make me look good. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, are you... Are you... Am I going to take a bath, right? Yeah. Just yes, sure. go take a shower while I get our dinner ready. Alright, thank you, Mom. I know you'll be very hungry, so... Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. Do you need more meat? No, I think I'm okay, ma'am. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. You're welcome. So, ma can I raise my hand? Of course, mm -hmm. sure. Okay. for you, man. Go <laughs> Can I have the water? Of course. I was going to say that I thought you were so family that you do want to wait for me to mm -hmm. pray over the food. <laughs> our Lord and our God, we thank you for this meal. We pray that you bless and sanctify it in Jesus' name. Amen. the food wow mom this food is so sweet did you order it what do you mean I ordered it have you forgotten I lived in Nigeria all my life before moving to this country are you now saying I'm not a good cook 
<laughs> no mom, I didn't say that. But it's just that this one tastes so different. <clears throat> yeah, this is sweet. Mom, that reminds me. It's been five months since I've landed in this country. When will I start my school? Because the only places I've been to is just the mall and church. That's it. See, I don't even have a mobile phone. What do you mean? Who have you been talking to lately? So you've been listening to some people. I hope that boy I saw you with the other day has not been influencing you negatively. I guess he's been telling you some things, right? Mom, I'm not talking to anyone, Mom. I just want to go back to school. You see all my mates in Nigeria back then now, they are almost graduating very soon. And I don't even want to be left behind. Don't worry. Process next week. I'm gonna call my friend Tolu to ask her how she was able to do her son's own. And we'll see how you start so. And about that party you told me about. When did you say the party will be held again? Mom, well, it's tomorrow. But I already told my friend that I can't come because he told me not to go. Why did you have to... <coughs> Why did you have to tell him that? Oh my goodness, these children will not kill. This boy, why did you have to go that far? Mom, you don't want me to lie to him, do you? Of course I know. I know it's not good for a Christian to lie. Even the Bible in the book of Exodus chapter 20 verse 16 says that we should not bear false witness against one another. But, oh God, you know what? I know you were doing the right thing, but I think you went overboard this time. But then, you know what? Just call him and tell him you'll be coming to the party, okay? <laughs> Mom, come again. <clears throat> Are you serious? Sure, you can go. <laughs> Mom, Mom, I knew you. You mean I should call him that? I can go to the party? Yes, you can. Wow! <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Mom, I will not call him. I will go there and surprise him. <laughs> mom, mom, thank you so much, mom, mom. You see, my mom, I love you so much. Thank you, mom. You just <laughs> promised me you're gonna stay out of trouble when you of get Of course, home. mom. Trust me, mom. I'm changed already. Okay. In fact, mom, I'm so happy. I don't even want to eat anymore. I'm so full, mom. mom. I'm so happy. <laughs> what? Yeah, mom, I'm so happy, wow. Mom, thank you so much. Once again, mom, thank you. Thank you. Oh, that was my mom. Mom, I love you so much. I love you too. Wow. Yes! Yes, I said it! You said what? That is food is so sweet, mom. <laughs> this boy will not kill me. <laughs> <laughs>
in the states no here in the states level past level eh? we do things high level here oh. you see here in the states he's legal to own a gun yeah uh-huh uh-huh yeah unlike back in nigeria where uh you you have to buy one and no one can see you have it so where will we come again so you mean yeah is legal to own a gun? Are you serious? Yes, so yes. Faith, as you see me now, me, I have four guns myself. Yeah. Uh-huh. It's part of your second amendment. It's your constitutional right to own a gun for your protection. Wow, wow, wow. Really, bro? Yeah. yeah. Faith, you're really missing out, bro. You see, here in this country, you're a free man. Nobody can tell you what to do. You call the shots here, right? When did I come to this country again? Ah, yeah, I remember. I remember. It was after that incident where you... Yeah, you remember? When you killed that guy, right? Yeah. Yeah, and um... Yeah, it will now be... What? Two years... And next month, yeah! That I've been here, and... I already... I, I live by myself, I work, you know, my roommates, yeah, some of those guys, we came together, yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. So you live by yourself and you work? Where about your mom and your dad, bro? Okay. Of course my mom and dad, they have their own house. Yeah, but no, man, uh, I have my own place, uh, I, I work and I go to school at the same time. So yeah, in this country, you mean you can go to school and also work? Are you for real? Faith, man, I need to fix you. <laughs> I need to fix you. This is the United States of America, not the un-United States of uh, Ninja. Come on, bro. You start again, man. No, Faith, I remember. Uh, you, you, let me get your drink, right? Right, right. Um, you still like leaf, right? I know you, yeah. Bad guy. You know me now, bro. Bad guy. <laughs> you you know knock my John to your cycle and we'll talk more, okay? I'm coming. Hey, bro. Faith. Oh, yeah, yeah, take bro. this, bro. Yeah, thanks, bro. Thanks, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I would like this too. Not ganja. Uh -huh. Get it in your system. Eh? Cycle. Ginger up. Ginger up. Your point, bro. No doubt. Yeah, but that reminds me, bro. You know, I don't like the incident you mentioned earlier before. Which incident? Oh! Oh, you mean the incident where you killed that guy? Come on, come on. God, relax, relax. Yo, that's that's a small something right there. That's that's not a big deal. You see, here in the States, we call those points. Yeah, yeah, let me tell you. You see, those two guys that I came with back there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. They each have five points. Wait, 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 wait. What do you mean five points? Five. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You see, here in the States, it's like adding feathers to your hat. Ooh. Yeah. It's, it's a sign of respect, you know? <clears throat> Gage up. Drink. Yeah. Knock that ganja. Yeah, let it get into your system, okay? You need to gauge up. This is big boy level. We're, we're no longer in the village, eh? Okay. Take that. I'll be back, okay? I'm coming. Nice yeah. Nice uh, I hope you're enjoying yourself. Are you having fun? Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro, man. <sighs> bro, man, I really enjoy myself today, man. Good, good. I'm glad. Yeah, it's a lot of fun today, bro. Man, I wish our guys are here, you know. Yeah, me too, Some man. of our guys. Me too. But now, I want to sound like my mom. <laughs> Your mom? I hope she isn't outside coming to pick you up. <laughs> guy. Bro, if you forgot to I'll be bad guy. Man. Yeah, you know that. The one and only. <laughs> yeah, bro. I, I want my mom to come pick me up, bro. Hey, right. Come on, bro. Right. No. If you don't do that, mm. you know my mom, she always say, Yoruba people say, Go on more day about cooking. You go more day for the shade. Go on more what you do. That's true. That's true. Twenty friends cannot be friends for twenty years, right? They all have to go their separate ways. She's right. Hmm. Anyway, bro. Yeah, man. I think I have to start living. It's time now. already. You know now. Nah. <laughs> I still live with my mama. You know. Yeah. No I just chance. came to this country, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry, I will be like you one day, man. <laughs> yeah, two years, man. I mean, look at you. You're looking so fresh, bro. Guy, thank you for coming, man. Of course, man. Of course, bro. Yeah, man. Bye -bye. Man, I get myself. <laughs> not yet, not yet. You'll get there. It's coming. Bro, well, don't worry, bro. I'll call you now, you know. Okay, okay. So we can stand down maybe once in a while. No shakes, yeah. no shakes. Thank you for coming. Yeah, you still remember that my own phone, right? Uh huh, uh huh. Yeah, I remember. Once I call you, just pick it up. Let me know if you need this drink, man. Yeah. Time to fake. Yeah, get into your system. Yeah, man, I'll see you, bro. Alright, bro. Good, okay? Hey, call me. I'll be expecting your call. Sure, bro. I'll call you, bro. I'll call you, man. I'll phone, bro. Yes, I'll see you. Alright. Great. Lord, in your word, you said in Isaiah 8, 18, Behold, I and the children that the Lord, whom the Lord had given me are for signs and for wonders in Israel from the Lord of hosts. But Lord, why? Why is it that my own son is not a sign, is not even a miracle, but a constant reminder of bad acts? Lord! Please change my son for me. Renew him and change him. Why can't you, oh Lord? Why? Why, God, please? Why can't you give me children like Isaac? Or even like Samuel? Lord, I pray that you change my son. Save him. Redeem his life and forgive him all his sins, Lord. 
<laughs> convert him oh god to change his ways from going back to the world lord <laughs> let your light so shine in his life oh god <laughs> let him be the light that you have ordained him to be oh god <laughs> God, I come tonight to seek your face over my son, faith. The only child you have given me, oh God. Lord, why is this boy continuously becoming a torment and a torture, oh God, to my existence? Father, I seek your face. Change my son, Lord. Change it for me. Change it. Change my son, Lord. Change it. Change him for me. Change myself for better, Lord. Change him. Change Mom, him. Are you okay? Faith, come, 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 come. Need that. Come on, need that. Come on, need that. Let me pray for you, Father. I pray, Father, like you have promised me, O oh God, that I and the children that whom you have given me, O oh God, are for signs and wonders. I pray and I stand on your authority this day that says that we should remind you of your word. Father, I come back to you with your word tonight, O oh God, and I pray for my son, Lord. Forgive him of all his sins, O oh God. Make him a new life, O oh God. Father, let your light shine in him, O oh God. For your word says, O oh God, that when light appears, and darkness darkness comprehended it's not lord every form of darkness in my son's life oh god i pray that you approve it oh god in the name of jesus christ so, uh, faith you shall be like someone from this day i pray that your life will be transformed for good your life will be better than it was every form of atrocity that you all, all, all committed in the past i plead the blood of jesus to wipe it out in your life that today Amen. you are becoming a new person in Christ Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. You are blessed, my son. You are favored. Thank you, Jesus. You are blessed. Amen, Lord. You'll be great and even greater than your father. Amen. Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. And you too, Lord. What do you mean, me too? Are, are you saying I, I'm not good enough for you? No, I didn't say that. I'm just saying, you know, your bad people always pray for God to bless their children and make their children greater than their parents oh so, so you have suddenly turned to a huge fan of the yorubas mm. bravo mom well i just need to go and read um before we go to bed read what are you reading oh Reading the Bible. Did, did I hear you right? Did you say Bible? Of course, Bible. Oh my God. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Ah, my son has changed. It. My son has finally changed. It. Thank you, Jesus. Huh? Faith. Hey. Oh my God. I thank you. I thank you. Oh, there is nothing you cannot do, oh Lord. Hey, I have seen my God turn it around. I have seen my God turn it around. There are so many, many, many times in my life that I have seen my Lord turn it around. Huh? Hey, my son, reading the Bible. Oh, oh Lord, I thank you. Lord, I worship you. Lord, I give you praise. Thank you, Jesus.
declaration the possibility of declaring a national disaster, which could free up as much as $40 billion in federal funds. Now, earlier in the day, the president tweeted that he is prepared to use the full power of the federal government to deal with our current challenge. Lester. All right, Kristen Welker at the White House here now is the president of the United States. My fellow Americans, Tonight, I want to speak with you about our nation's unprecedented response to the coronavirus outbreak that started in China and is now spreading throughout the world. We instituted sweeping travel restrictions on China and put in place the first federally mandated quarantine in over 50 years. We declared a public health emergency and issued the highest level of travel warning on other countries as the virus spread its horrible infection. To follow the guidelines of your local officials who are working closely with our federal health experts, and they are the best. For all Americans, it is essential that everyone take extra precautions and practice good hygiene. Each of us has a role to play in defeating this virus. Wash your hands, clean often used surfaces, cover your face and mouth if you sneeze or cough, and most of all, if you are sick or not feeling well, stay home. And God bless America. Thank you. President Trump at Oval Office address addressing the coronavirus, what is now declared by the World Health Organization as of today, a global pandemic. The president uh, pointing a finger of blame at Europe for some of the spread of the disease we've seen here in the U.S. And one of the headlines is calling for uh, a suspension of flights from Europe to the United States beginning this Friday. Bad group, that's as high as it gets. It's a bad grouping of tornadoes, something that's uh, something incredible. Power, How long are we going to be on that? The influence of this COVID-19 thing. Critical progress in our war against the virus over the weekend. I'm just tired of the whole situation. It's beginning to affect everything that we hold dear to our lives. Mom, what do you mean by everything we hold dear to our lives? I thought we can go out whenever we want to, but we just have to take precautions. Yes, they did. But the question is, what are the precautions they asked us to take? Well, I guess they said we should wash our hands regularly before touching our eyes or we should just avoid touching our eyes. Secondly, they said we should keep six feet apart from each other but not with family. You know, we can be doing that inside. And lastly, they said we should avoid crowded places or wear face masks if we can't. I'm glad you mentioned that. That's exactly my point. What is your point, Ma? Can't you see? We can no longer do what we used to do. Mom, yes, you can. As long as you observe the precautions. So what you're trying to tell me now is that I can still go to the grocery store just as we used to, shop for everything I want, freely, like before. Of course, mom. Why not? You can go to the store. You can go wherever you want to go to, as much as you take the precautions. <laughs> Pastor. I'm good, Pastor. Yes, we are doing okay. We thank God. 
Yes, he's fine. He's doing okay too. He's even here with me. And we were just talking about this pandemic and all the consequences. It's just so unfortunate that he had to be in the country when the pandemic took the whole country at ransom. But what can we do? I, I believe God will see us through the whole situation. Amen, Pastor. Yes, Pastor. Of course, I remember you once said that. Even in one of your sermons, you said, uh, when fear knocks at the door, we should send faith to answer. Yes, Pastor, I remember. Amen, Pastor. Yes, Pastor. I also remember uh, you said that uh, the word faith was mentioned 365 times in the Bible. Yes, Pastor. Thank you, Pastor. I will do as you say. Amen. Thank you, Pastor. Yes, Pastor. Joshua 1 9, where it says that uh, the Lord God says, Have I not commanded you? Do not be discouraged. Do not be afraid. For I, the Lord your God, will be with you wherever you go. Thank you, Pastor. Amen. Remain blessed too. My regards to your family, sir. Amen. <laughs> Mom? That was Pastor, isn't it? Yes. He, it was the Pastor. He has just called to say we should not be afraid of the virus that it shall not come near us, just as the word of God says in the book of Psalm chapter 91 verse 7, that a thousand may fall at our side and 10,000 at our right hand, but it shall not come near us. Hmm. Mom, but you need to be careful and protect yourself. Yes, God will protect you. But you still need to take precautions to protect yourself. Are you now trying to uh, advise me against what the pastor say, said? Have you forgotten his... Also, what do you even know about God? Have you forgotten that he's also an oracle, uh, the mouthpiece of God? Mom. I didn't say all that. All I'm just saying is just protect yourself, like wear a face mask whenever you need to go out. No, you know your bad people says for long short don't feel open or get a go but shut up your mouth now it has gotten to this. What, what did I just hear you say? You're now using your bad parable on what do you know about your bad people? I don't blame you. You're just there blabbing. What do you know? I've been in this world before you came. When were you even born? That you're not grown, you've grown wings that you now use your bad parable. I've been in this world before you came. And I reserve the right to know more than you do. Imagine what infantry, what has children of nowadays turned into in my own house? It's, it's, it's not your fault because you eat whenever you want. Now you no longer use your senses to know you are talking to, to, to your mom. Mm -hmm. 
church, not the hospital. Have you forgotten what the pastor said? That we should walk by faith and not by sight. That the virus will not affect us. We are children of God. Come on, let's go. Mom, what are you talking about? Mom, are you saying those people that are killed by this COVID-19 are not children of God? Or God doesn't even know them? Are you saying they are children of the Satan? Mom, have you forgotten what the Bible says in Hosea 4 verse 6? My people perish for lack of knowledge. Just zip it. Look at you. What do you even know about the Bible? No. How many books are there in the Bible? Since you want to prove to me that you know the Bible so much. He is preaching. So you know so much about the Bible, yet you went ahead and joined that gang to kill an innocent person. Mom, 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 please, 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 why, why, why? Why will you keep rubbing this, my past back on my face with every opportunity you have, mom, why? Mom, come on, please. Oh. If you don't have anything reasonable to say to me this morning, just behave yourself and get out of that place and follow me to the church, or else I'm going to lock you out and get out of here. You're going to find your way and come to the church. Maybe you get Okada or Kekemarua. It's just that it's unfortunate that in this country there's nothing like Kekemarua or, 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 or Okada. We would have seen the other side of me this morning. Preacher, pastor, that's how much you know about the Bible. And you keep messing around with, with, with bad people.
faith. Yes, ma'am. Did you notice what I noticed today in the church? What did you notice? <laughs> that means you, you really can't be a scientist or even a detective. You mean you didn't notice that the woman that usually sits next to me in the church during Sunday service was not in the church today? Oh, 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 you mean that woman that I and myself serve in the Holy Ghost Police at church? Exactly. Oh, yeah, that's true. I didn't see her son at church today. I learned she's seriously ill and was rushed to the hospital. Oh, yeah? Yes. Wow. I just hope. I just hope it's not what I'm thinking. Hey, what are you thinking, ma'am? I hope it's something good. I mean, this COVID thing. Mom, are you worried? Have you forgotten what the Bible says in Psalm 91 verse 7? And if I not come near you, of course. Listen to yourself. We are talking about COVID-19 that has killed millions of people, taking too many lives. You are here talking trash. Is that what you should be saying? So, mom, so what do you want me to say? So what should I do about it? I just said it. You are very rude. You just need to learn how to talk. Sure. So, COVID-19 is not... is nothing to you, but you are here. Busy preaching to me in the morning when we were preparing to go to church. And even up until now, you are still wearing your mask. I don't blame you. It's not your fault. is doing fine too. What is it? You mean the sister that used to sit next to me during Sunday service at the church? I also heard she, was, she is hospitalized. Are you serious? What? Oh my god. Mom, are you okay? Mom. Mom, are you okay? Mom, sorry. Mom, what's going on? Hey, easy, Mom. Mom, what's going on? Is everything okay, Mom? Mom, do you need water? Sister, Diti, please, let me call you back. Let me call you back. Let me call you back. Mom, mm. <laughs> what's going on? Oh, oh God. Ah, it's so good to me.
Thank you.